Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So I'm continuing along my Witch Doctor Primer, and I'm moving on to the Terror abilities. So, Terror, I'm only going to show two, just Soul Harvest and Mass Confusion of the three, because I already showed Sacrifice in my Pets video, which is, I think, number two in the series. But, Soul Harvest. Soul Harvest, it's a PB AoE, a point-blank area of effect attack. You buff yourself up, you can hit up to 5 enemies, gaining 130 intelligence per enemy, so 130, and this obviously is, these are level 60 stats, 130 times 5, so 650 intelligence, and the effect lasts for 30 seconds. So it's an extremely powerful damage buff. For me, if I use it right now on a 5 stack, I go from about 8,000 damage to about 12,500 or so. So it, it no longer doubles my damage, but for the vast majority of my character's leveling career, it did. Honestly, you should have Soul Harvest in any Witch Doctor build. It's that powerful. It's such a huge damage bonus that, unfortunately, you really are pigeonholed into having it regardless of your build along with Spirit Walk. These two powers are definitely, I would say, mandatory for any Witch Doctor build, which... Really sucks, I hate to say stuff like that. I mean, you only have six abilities in a build, but that's how they designed the class. It's such a huge boost, it's one of the most powerful damage buffs in the game that I can't really say otherwise. But to give you an idea of the graphic... Just a PBAOE circle. To talk about runes, Swallow Your Soul is a very nice leveling rune, helps you with mana. To show you the graphic... Next up is Siphon. Siphon, I would say, is your best choice of rune for Soul Harvest. Extremely strong survivability cooldown. It does create kind of a conflict of interest, though, because you want to immediately buff up as soon as your duration wears off to get the big damage boost. But then again, once you have inspect for Siphon, you want to kind of wait to use it until you're damaged. If nothing else, though, it does make running into enemies to get a 5-stack much safer, because even if you do take damage, you'll get a substantial heal. To tell you how much it heals, well, it's just 271 times 5 for the maximum heal you can get. You're looking at 10,855. Very, very strong. Even with 50,000 health, that's a fifth of your life. So definitely a very potent heal. <laughs> Next up is Languish. Languish reduces the movement speed of harvested enemies by 60% for 3 seconds. Can't really recommend it. You'd be better off with just Grasp of the Dead. There are far better runes than Languish for Soul Harvest. And 3 seconds is an extremely short snare. You're looking at 3 seconds out of every 15, so 12 seconds of downtime. Not very good. 60% is a solid snare, though, but I would say that there are better choices. It can be useful, though, if you have really fast enemies just closing in on you. You can just wait for them to close in on you, buff up when they're next to you, and also simultaneously snare them and get away. So it does have its uses, but I think there are better runes. <laughs> next we have Soul to Waste. Soul to Waste is essentially a quality of life improvement. It makes it last 60 seconds rather than 30, so you won't have to use it as often, which is quite nice. But in terms of straight optimization, I really think you'd be better off with Siphon for a really nice survivability cooldown, or even Swallow Your Soul to help with mana issues. Swallow Your Soul, I mean, is 39 times 5, so 195 mana. I have 740, which I think is essentially base for level 60. I, I don't know if I have bonuses from equipment. I don't think I do. If I do, it's minimal. I don't have any passives right now that are giving me bonus mana or anything, like spiritual attunement. This is all an Inferno, by the way. Anything that I show, this whole series is Inferno. So, Soul to Waste, the graphic. And finally, Vengeful Spirit. Vengeful Spirit makes enemies take 70% weapon damage as physical. I should note that I misunderstood this tooltip previously in other videos. I have since corrected it with some annotations. But it does not make enemies take an additional 70% weapon damage just from all sources for a period of time. It doesn't debuff them. It just makes the PBAOE do some damage, essentially. Can't really recommend it. I think Siphon is a far better choice. <laughs> So to summarize, I would say Siphon is definitely your best bet for Soul Harvest. Swallow Your Soul can be nice, though, if you're having mana issues and not survivability issues, especially when leveling up. Siphon isn't strictly necessary, and certainly not normal or nightmare, even early hell. But once you're past, you know, once you're in Act 2, 3, 4, hell, really should be using Siphon in my opinion. I think it outshines everything else. 
It would really be nice to use Soul to Weights for the quality of life, because I personally hate buffing every 30 seconds. Even every 60 seconds is really, really short. Buffs should last like 5 minutes. They should never be shorter than 5 minutes. Next up is Mass Confusion. It has a minute cooldown. It confuses enemies in a PB AoE, a point blank area of effect radius, causing them to attack each other and not attack you. But it will not confuse everybody in the radius. It will just confuse maybe half the targets or so. It does have kind of a cap to it. So, something to keep in mind. I will demonstrate it. So let me just find some enemies. This will more than likely result in me dying spectacularly. But here we go. Big pack of guys. Notice how there were a ton of guys in here. But it didn't confuse all of them. It just confused five of them. There I go. So, I don't know exactly how many there were. Probably close to ten. But it just confused about half. And now, here's the graphic. Shaky, shaky. Why a minute? This this ability, personally, I think its cooldown is, is a bit too prohibitive. A minute for its effect. Just 12 seconds. I don't know. So, for the first rune, we have Unstable Realm. Reduces the cooldown to 45 seconds. Can be quite useful if you actually would like to use this ability. Gives you far more uptime for the ability. <laughs> I should mention that if you'd like to use Mass Confusion, as far as passives go, that can be useful. I would definitely recommend Grave Injustice. Whenever an enemy dies within 8 yards, you regain 1% of your maximum life and mana, and the cooldown on all of your abilities is reduced by 1 second. And the range is extended by items that increase your gold pickup radius. 8 yards is extremely short. It's essentially, you have to basically be sitting next to them. It's essentially melee range, a bit larger than melee range. So... Without something that increases your gold pickup radius, Grave Injustice isn't very useful unless you're spending all your time right next to enemies, but can be very nice to shave off cooldowns. So if you do stack gold pickup radius, you can extend that dramatically. Next is Deevolution. Deevolution, when you kill enemies that are confused, you have a 50% chance of spawning a zombie dog. Now keep in mind, it won't confuse everybody, even in a large group. Not a great ratio for getting a lot of zombie dogs out, but... If you like zombie dogs, if you're using, like, a gruesome feast build, and then maybe sacrifice, like a zombie dog sacrifice build, can absolutely be useful, but in my experience, zombie dog sacrifice builds don't really work very well. So, up to you, up to your experimentation. Next, we have Mass Hysteria. Six enemies who aren't confused are instead stunned for three seconds. That actually can be quite potent for the ability, considering in a group of, say, 10, 12 enemies, you'll stun- or you'll rather confuse maybe five. So, basically, everybody will either be confused or stunned. Or an enemy that can't be confused, they can be stunned instead. Also useful for interrupting bosses that can be confused or stunned or whatever to interrupt their more damaging abilities to give you more uptime on them or to save yourself. Something to keep in mind. <laughs> Next is Paranoia. All enemies in the area of Mass Confusion take 20% additional damage for 12 seconds. So, for the duration of their confusion, but it's all enemies, it's not just the confused enemies, take 20% additional damage. Another good choice for the rune, use against bosses or whoever, just a lot more damage can be effective. I should mention that this can be a really potent option for using with burst builds, kind of like my Rain Man build, just using Big Bad Voodoo to channel really expensive abilities like Zombie Bears doing a lot of damage, then using Fetish Army to do a bunch of damage, also blowing Mass Confusion with Paranoia to do 20% additional damage, so... Mass Confusion, plus Fetish Army, plus Big Bad Voodoo, plus Zombie Bears, plus being buffed from Soul Harvest equals a whole lot of damage very rapidly. And Mass Confusion is an excellent ability to use along with Vision Quest builds. It's another very long cooldown. Vision Quest is four or more skills on cooldown. Your mana generation is increased by 300%. So, say you're using Big Bad Voodoo, plus Fetish Army, plus Mass Confusion and then Spirit Walk and Soul Harvest for just a, a shorter duration cooldown. You're looking at having basically three abilities on cooldown for a very long time, and then the other two for shorter periods of time, but just using Zombie Bears as your primary means of damage, and then Vision Quest to keep your mana up, and then bursting things down when your cooldowns come up. Finally, we have Mass Hallucination. 
makes a spirit rampage, deals 29% weapon damage per second as physical to enemies it passes through. So 29% times 12 seconds is 348% weapon damage, which is substantial. I mean, that's not a terrible ratio or anything, but has a minute cooldown, so that's not very good for once every minute. <laughs> So as far as your best choices for runes go for Mass Confusion, I would say Unstable Realm if you want to have more uptime on it. De-Evolution, honestly, I don't think is a very good choice. Maybe in very specific Gruesome Feast builds, you could make use of it. But Zombie Sacrifice builds, Zombie Dog Sacrifice builds, in my opinion, don't work very well. Because no matter what, you have a max of three or four dogs. Four with Zombie Handler. So because of that limitation, I don't think they work very well, but your mileage may vary. Mass Hysteria can certainly be useful to increase its crowd control potency. I think Paranoia is really solid for burst builds that rely on Fetish Army and Big Bad Voodoo. Mass Hallucination I don't think is a very good choice. It's some more damage, but I think you would do more damage overall with just Paranoia. So in my opinion, your best bet is Unstable Realm for more uptime on the ability, Mass Hysteria for more crowd control, or Paranoia for more damage. I think those really outshine De-Evolution or Mass Hallucination. Alright guys, that is it for Terror. So, thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, if it helped you. Please, some of you want to see more Diablo 3. Leave comments and feedback and ask questions, and I will be sure to answer them. And have a good one.